Welcome to another edition of the Coach Ken Erickson Show. Along with the coach, I'm Jim Lauk, USF with no games this weekend, but a big week coming up. They'll be in Gainesville for a single game against Florida on Wednesday, and then a big American Athletic Conference three-game series against East Carolina on Saturday and Sunday right here in Tampa. Coach Bull's coming back from UConn. We're going to hear from Carla Claudio later in the show. She's going to tell us about seeing snow for the first time in her life. You guys saw a lot of it in the areas surrounding the field. Unfortunately, yeah. you could only get in two or three games on the trip. Yeah, the, the problem you have when there's snow surrounding the field that when the weather gets above 50 degrees, it starts to melt and then it started to seep onto the field. And so our outfield had tremendous challenges uh, all day Friday. And then obviously Saturday we couldn't play because of the rain that came in to try to wash the snow away. And, formed a real swamp land in the outfield. But um, it was interesting because we had about eight or nine players, I think, that, that saw snow for the first time. And even if it was ice pack and so forth, it was there in, in bits. And if you, I'm sure if their, their tweets went out and their Facebook stuff, that you could see a whole bunch of white stuff around the ball fields and so forth. So it presented some challenges, cool weather, wet weather, damp. You know, it was uh, not conducive to the ballpark here, but at the same time, we, we met some of the challenges. Couple of nail biters, one run games uh, in both games, three to two, and then eight to seven in the second game. You know, we're real fortunate to to come back and uh, have an opportunity to win the ball game in game two. Sammy Griner did a nice job in middle relief, and we just couldn't shut the door defensively or on the pitching circle in game two. But the way our team came back, being down six runs again, and then Mia Fung tying it up with a three run home run, I think it was in the fifth inning. So. Um, our, our kids can hit, you know, and, and we all know that we have to play this game at a very, very high level defensively and pitching wise to keep us in some games right now. But, you know, this is a tough team and, you know, sometimes we're the victim of our own successes, you know, over the last few years. And, you know, you've been a big part of that is the people that take a look right now and say, what's going on with softball, you know, and without telling you the, 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 the deal that the Green Bay quarterback said, relax, we're going to be OK. You know, we're starting four or five freshmen a year right now. Uh, in every game actually right now. So it's it's not so much a rebuilding year coming off the Nevins and the Savarolas and the Goff situation, but this is a team that's very, very exciting right now. Uh, they're working very hard. You know, Jim, I think five of our losses have been the top five teams, you know, so we're not playing a patsy schedule by any stretch of the imagination. And I'd like to see this team right now because it's the first time that they have to really bear down during a stretch, you know. It's interesting, we talk about pitching and, and you look in the circle and it's a different cast of characters yeah. to a degree than it's been. There has been at times not quite the consistency I'm guessing yeah. that you would like, but that said, this is a team ERA at 2.24. That's top 25 in the nation. No, that's not bad, you know, but once again, I think the, the aspect and the perception in our community and our surrounding school here and the media, whatever is like, why aren't they undefeated in April? You know, why aren't they undefeated in, in late March? And, you know, this is a different ball game. And, and as I said, and I keep trying to remind our players, forget about the past four, five, six years. Forget about the past 15 years. This is your program, this is your team. We have to take care of business now. And if we take care of business now, you know, until June, I think we'll be in great shape. And, you know, as we prepare for that, you know, we're kind of like a precursor going to college. We, we prepare for the SAT, we prepare for the ACT all season long. And for us, the test comes up, you know, right after the conference tournament. And that's the postseason, and that's what we prepare for. All right, stay with us. Much more to come. We'll visit with Carla Claudio when we return. And then we'll be back to preview the game against Florida and the big series at home against East Carolina when the Coach Ken Erickson Show continues. Once again, Tampa General Hospital is proud to be named the number one hospital in Tampa Bay by U.S. News & World Report and recognized as one of America's best hospitals in four specialties, cardiology and heart surgery, nephrology, orthopedics, and urology. Number one in Tampa Bay, again, and one of America's best, Tampa General Hospital. Trusted for our expertise, chosen for our care. The 
one Claudio lifts it left center field and deep. That ball is gone. Claudio hits it in the air, deep left field. That ball is gone again. First pitch, deep left field. Ball game. Carla Claudio have a day. The Coach Ken Erickson Show continues our visit now with pitcher and designated player Carla Claudio. Carla, thanks for taking time for us. Thank you, guys. This is one of the great mysteries of this sport. You put in the work every week. You go through the same hitting drills, the same work in the cages, and all of a sudden, the ball just starts jumping off your bat the last couple of weeks. Describe mm -hmm. this last 10 days or so. It's been remarkable. Um, I've just I've been seeing the ball very well. Um, you know, mentally, when I wasn't able to hit, when I was just pitching, I kept telling myself that um, I'm here for a reason. You know, I'm not hitting because I'm not good. Um, I just have a different job right now. You know, um, coach knows what I can do, and I, you know, I never gave up. You have kind of a unique situation in that, aside from being in the circle, you don't play in the field that much. A lot of the times when you're batting, you're in the DP position. Is that more difficult to not be able to grab a glove between innings? Um, you know, sometimes it is because when I first started playing, um, I'd play first or third and hit um, as well. Um, and at Santa Fe, same thing. I played first and hit. So here I come and um, I'm a DH now. It's kind of weird, but I've been able to adjust to it, thankfully. You're just coming off the trip to Connecticut. You had another good couple of games there, but difficult, cold yeah. and yeah. windy. You didn't get the third game in. Yeah. How much of, a, of an adjustment is that for you from your native country? You usually don't run into that kind of weather much and you sure don't have that happen <laughs> in Florida. No, um, not at all. Actually, that was my first time seeing snow. Um, I was like a little kid out there. There was no all around the field and behind the outfield fence. Um, it was definitely difficult, especially Saturday um, when we got to the field, it was cold, it was really windy. Um, the outfield was really muddy. Um, and especially when I'm pitching, it's really hard for me to um, warm up and do that kind of stuff. It's really hard. Now the Bulls wound up with a three to two win in game one, went one and one on the weekend. Yep. You now find yourself, and I don't know if you know this or not, leading the nation in saves. <laughs> you got your seventh up there at UConn last weekend. And we've talked in some other interviews we've done about Ken Erickson's kind of unique pitching staff philosophy where he mixes and matches a lot. You may find yourself closing a game one game and then getting a start the next day. Do you kind of like that? Yeah, I mean, Coach is a baseball guy, um, and he told us at the beginning of the season that um, we were all going to pitch. It wasn't just going to be Erica. It wasn't just going to be Susan pitching one game. You know, we were all going to go in um, and help each other. And I really like it. I like the job that I have right now, um, the closer job that I have. I really like the challenge, and I'm having a lot of fun doing it. Does it affect your preparation, though? I mean, you don't know. I mean, there's a lot of college softball players in this country who know I'm the DP, I'm playing seven innings, or I'm starting today and unless I have a really bad day I'm pitching a complete game you never know from game to game even from inning to inning sometimes yeah coach always wants us to be ready um, so I always make sure um, that I'm mentally ready before every game whatever he needs me to do I'll do it it's got to be fun knowing <laughs> that you could get the call anytime yeah. I mean that's a lot better than sitting on the bench thinking uh, I hope I get in tomorrow <laughs> yeah it's definitely been a lot of fun you know I have a lot of fun this is what I love to do so I love it. Into conference play now for the most part. You go up to Gainesville on Wednesday to play Florida, but then after that it's uh, back home for East Carolina. I mean, those conference games are the ones that are really, really special. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I told my teammates that I wasn't going to leave USF before um, beating Florida first. You know, that's um, what I have in mind right now. I think we can, you know, we showed it. Um, the first weekend of the season, we were really close to beating them, and you know I don't see why we wouldn't be able to. Carla, thanks, it. thanks for taking time for us. Have a great rest of the season. Thank you so much. Bulls pitcher, designated player Carla Claudio, stay with us. More of the Coach Ken Erickson show coming up after this. This is where the legends live. 
waiting for someone with better innovation. From the brand that reinvented the t-shirt comes the Under Armour Speed Form Apollo. This is our rocket ship. Looking for an individual or family health care plan? Or maybe a dental policy? Look no further than the Tampa Florida Blue Centers in West Shore, Carrollwood, and Pinellas Park. For more information, go to floridablue.com or call the number on the screen. Well, Coach Carla Claudio has just had a terrific year, and as we talked in the piece, it's really interesting, and that's, that's baseball, that's softball. You do the work every week, you spend the time in the cages every week, all of a sudden it just clicks in, and it seems like that's been the case for her the last couple of weeks. You know, and it's funny because what you see is, is now, you know, and, you're, and you've already talked about it. You, you didn't see last year, you know, her coming in and learning to pitch and learn a new pitch, and, and that cutter that she has right now has got seven saves for us. You know, and, and got some really big innings against some big teams. And then her ability now to get to the plate and feel comfortable at the plate, sees the ball well because she's on time, you know, um, it's great. And, and the nice part about it, it couldn't have happened at a better time because we need to start protecting Spivey, you know, because everybody started pitching around Spivey. Now you pitch around Spivey, Claudio goes up, knocks a double, knocks a home run, drives in runs. And, and so it's better for our team right now that we're, we're stronger in the middle of, of the lineup because of Carla. But man, she works so hard. She really does. She's one of those kids right now that uh, she's a coach of dream. I wish we had her, you know, for another two years. It's too bad she's only spent two years here, but let's make it a bang last year. And, and she's out to do that right now. She is one of the players, and you've really got a team full of them that take advantage of knowing their roles yeah. and being comfortable knowing that the lineup may change yeah. periodically, yeah. always ready to go. Well, our lineup changes periodically every inning, you know, so the. The, the point of her readiness is well appreciated. And the younger players need to know that, need to understand that. Even the younger pitching staff needs to know that on a drop of a dime, the game can change. Um, and there's no waiting. You know, if you wait, you're gonna make adjustments in the car on the way home, and that's not a good time to do that. So um, they need to be ready to go. We're gonna pinch hit in the first inning, maybe. You know, we're gonna make a pitching change in the second inning, maybe. So it's all depending on the matchups, on what we feel good, what the strengths are, and so forth. And, and Carla has parlayed that, and she's parlayed her, uh, you know, her attention to details into for some really good successes right now. And not just for the benefit of her, obviously, but for the benefit of our program. Well, the Bulls coming off that game at Florida Gulf Coast play again next Wednesday in Gainesville at Florida. One of the last uh, times really in non-conference play this year, Florida as we speak is ranked number three. So again, a chance to build that strength of schedule and uh, to give the team an opportunity to go out and excel. Well, the type of teams you want to schedule, you know, the type of teams you aspire to be in the company with all the time is, is in the top 15, top 20 uh, programs in the country. And it's a great bellwether to what you're trying to do for the rest of the year, not just for the future, but for the rest of the year. And will you match up with them in the NCAA tournament? You know, so for us to get into foreign territory up in Gainesville and, and get into that uh, point of trying to be comfortable being uncomfortable is, is a really key situation for us. And um, the home and home series that uh, Coach Walton and I have uh, stayed with, you know, for the past five, six years is well appreciated by both programs. Uh, very good team, uh, very good pitching, very good defense, very good speed, very good power. Um, and so we have to play at our best level to be able to be competitive. Uh, and if you're competitive at the end and you're, you know, close at the end, there's always a great chance that you're going to sneak out a W here or there. So um, you're, you're hoping that uh, your team understands that it's playing against a golf course and not playing against opponents. You know, you got to play each hole the right way. And uh, that's what we're trying to do. It is difficult to walk into that facility and not think about the two regional victories mm -hmm. that, that got you to the super regional. Mm -hmm. Do you allow that in your mind when you go up there now in 2015 or are you so focused on today's game? I mean, I'm focused on today's practice to tell you the truth. You know, I mean, Wednesday comes along and Wednesday could be rained out. So I, I try not to overextend our thought process of what we're trying to accomplish. And, um, the place holds a lot of great memories, you know, from back in even, you know, 1997, 98, you know, when we first started going up there to play, there's been some great battles between the two programs. And yeah, we did have some nice success in 2006, winning the, the, the regionals to go to super regionals. And then obviously a very exciting 2012 uh, regionals there to, to advance here uh, to super regionals. But 
um, that's the past. It was with those teams. Um, I think these guys know the history of what goes on. Um, I think the last five or six years, you know, it's been either us going to the World Series or, or somebody that's been in our regional. So it's a tough region to play out of, but you've got to go through certain things to get to the World Series, to get to the Super Regional. So it's really just another step on the schedule. I, I don't think you look beyond anything or, or blow it up any more than poor. I think the fans do that, which is great for them because, you know, they, you take a look at the fans running around the ballparks and those type of competitions, you go, my God, they're going to have a heart attack. And then you take a look in the dugout and the girls are playing ball. You know, it's a, it's a great situation. So uh, let's go play ball. After that, three games East Carolina. This is a little bit of an unusual break in conference play. You have quite a few days yeah. till you get a chance to get into league play again. Yeah. The Pirates come in the 18th and the 19th and conference games just at a premium right now. Yeah, no, they are. And um, it, it's all about posturing yourself for the conference tournament to see what goes on. But the nice part of our conference tournament is everybody goes. You know, so regardless of where you're at, everybody's going to the conference tournament. Everybody's got a great shot to win the automatic bid to the NCAA. Um, but it's a conference right now that's, that's, there's no undefeateds. You know, it's pretty tight in the middle of the pack, pretty tight from top to bottom. Um, it lends itself towards a, a really exciting last part of the year. And, and who's going to play well that day? You know, who's going to play well on that Saturday doubleheader? Who's going to play well on that Sunday? And, and can you be consistent? You know, it's, if you win a Masters golf tournament, you play four great days. You know, for softball, all you got to do is play one great day at a time. And, and I think that's the way you have to take a look at it. But uh, it should be an exciting last couple of weeks. You know, no doubt about it. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I always like the challenges. Time to get practice cranked up out there. Have a great oh, yeah. day. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Head coach Ken Erickson, if you can't make it to Gainesville to watch the Bulls play Florida, be here on the 18th of April. That's the next home game as the Bulls play a doubleheader against East Carolina single game the following day, Sunday the 19th. And we'll see you again soon on another edition of the Coach Ken Erickson Show.